Hi, this is Divine 219 Lady, and I want to talk a little bit about the lukewarm Christian. I was laying in the bed, and I was just thinking, I had prayed to the Lord earlier, and um, what came to mind as I was watching some of the um, scripture videos that a lot of you wonderful people post, um, it came to, it came, I came to realize that um, the lukewarm Christian, the Lord placed on me. And um, let's see, I had wrote it down because I was like, you know, it will be so upsetting to know you sat lukewarm and still went to hell. And that's what came to my mind because I was like, you know, there's a lot of people out here who are lukewarm, which means they know, but they don't. And they just sit in the middle because they don't see any wrong with not deciding if they want to believe in God or if they want to do things their way. What does it call the Satanist? Do wilt thy art? Do art thou wilt, I believe. I don't know how it goes. Somebody knows. But, you know, a lot of people don't gravitate to, yeah, I'm going to serve Satan. Especially if Satan was here and said, hey, you're going to serve me, they probably quickly and say no. But then they go on and doing the worldly things that Satan supplies to everybody to do. And without you having to confess with your mouth, you're just doing it by your actions. And a lot of times they don't associate that with being a Satanist or an unbeliever. Yet they like to just sit on the fence and say, well, you know, if it is, it is. If it ain't, it ain't. But, you know, in Revelations, and I'm going to tell you where. In Revelations uh, 3, 15, chapter 3, 15 through 16, talks about the lukewarm Christian. And he says, God says, I know your works. You are neither hot or cold. With, with that, you are either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. And God is angry about the lukewarm Christian it's because I've got to still punish you because you're undecided you couldn't pick me over Satan and so I still have to punish you as if you chose Satan and this is why I hate you this is why I'm spitting you out of my mouth because you couldn't choose whether to go my way or go the highway the other way and so that's how I took that scripture and so, what is a lukewarm Christian? Because a lot of people don't know. A lukewarm Christian may have some belief in a higher power, the Most High. They may have heard about Jesus Christ. They may have heard other people talking about it. They may have seen things, but they actually don't actually indulge in seeking Him. They don't actually indulge in trying to find out for themselves. They take information from other people and make their analogy from it. They don't try to seek the Holy Spirit and ask it to... Um, come down inside of them to show them the things that the Holy Spirit um, knows. So they want to do things their way. The do art thou wilt way, which means that, well, if it is, it is today and today. But they still watch their TVs. They still go on social media. They still play with their phones. They're still into their, their worldly things. Um, they, they find faith in work. They find faith in the things that they're doing. They find faith in their wives or their husbands. They find faith in their children, their families. They find faith in everything but the Most High, Yahshua Mashiach. They find faith in everything but. And devil, the devil don't need you to confess to him that you believe in him if you're showing him that you believe in him. And God is not going to sit here and say, I'm going to make you serve me because you're serving Satan. He's going to give you freedom to choose because there is a strong delusion sent to you who would rather believe the lie than the truth. And God will send it to you. And, and with that being said, that means that you will get some type of incentive or some type of direction as to what is the truth. But because you deny the truth, he will send you a great delusion so that you may believe in a lie. And once you start believing in a lie, it's hard to come from that lie because you're so focused on 
what you think it is that you've grown hardened in your hearts to believe what God is telling you. You want to think everybody else is out of their rockers or don't know what they're talking about and they're going too far with it because you can't see it anymore because God took that truth away from you. Now it's going to be extra hard for you to even actually um, come his way. But as far as a lukewarm Christian is concerned, is that you get all the way to the point of judgment when, judge, when God judges the world. And in your mind, you did everything right. You did everything good. You didn't murder. You didn't steal. You didn't lie. You didn't cheat. You didn't do any of these things that uh, would you would say would be bad or horrific things that someone who would um, agree with being um, a Satanist or who serves Satan or who's a Luciferian or etc. You feel like you still have the rights to the kingdom of God. Well, you don't. And it will be a pure, a, um, pure shame that upon judgment, God has to kick you to the point where you have to burn internally in a lake of fire, tormented. And if you're still in your right mind and you can think past all of that tormenting, I just wonder if you would think, wow, how am I here in this point where I'm burning just like the, the most horrific person, the most devilish person, the most cruel person, the most unappealing person? How am I dying with them and I didn't even do any of those things. You'll probably also be thinking, well, I should have just did all the stuff that I, I should have done like everybody else. That way I deserve to have this. You probably think that if you're able to think rightly while you're in torment, you'll probably think all of those things. And, and this is why God doesn't want you to be lukewarm because you're gonna feel like your punishment is not justified because you sat on the fence. So with that being said, try to find out your path. If you're going to deal with the most high, then deal with the most high, Jesus Christ. Deal with him, see him, believe in him, know him. If you're going to deal with the devil, then accept your punishment, but it would be justified. Either way, if you're lukewarm, it's still going to be justified because you didn't choose God. You chose yourself. And that right there is a form of idolatry, that you're choosing yourself above God. And this is why you get thrown into the lake of fire. Now, there's another verse in Revelation that speaks of, let's see, Revelations 14, chapters, chapter 14, verse 10 and 11. And it says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receives the mark of his time. And worshiping the beast, if you believe it, is worshiping yourself because that's idolatry and that's part of the beast system. So you're worshiping the beast because he's against God. He's, he's He wants to be anything opposite of what God is trying to do. He wants to bring your attention away from God. So if that's to edify yourself, then you're serving the beast. And that's a form of idolatry, it's part of the sins. So, like and comment, subscribe if you're interested. I do post periodically. Um, I, do, I enjoy, um, I've been in my walk for a long, long, long time. So, and I, I did backslide um, a couple years. I just didn't seek him the way I would. I always believed. And um, I've always had a grand yearning to go home. But this time I'm here to stay. There's nothing going to take me away from it. So I take positive and negative comments. I'll respond to a lot of you. Um, with that being said, uh, like and share this video, subscribe to my channel. And 
I'll see you next time.